Hello and welcome to Cracking at Cryptic. Now what I'm doing here is showing you my solve of today's Times Cryptic number 27,100 and this is instructive. This is a puzzle in which it's an extremely difficult puzzle. Let's start there. Um, and the reason it's difficult is because of a great skill on the part of the compiler in my opinion. It's not so much that the word play is amazing, it's the definitions. So here, one favouring gangsterism as a rule or combat manoeuvres. And the definition there is one favouring gangsterism as a rule. Like, how can that be a definition? Because it's somebody who prefers that the ruling party are the gangsters, hence a mobocrat who favours a mobocracy. And it's just so hard. I mean, what's hard there is picking out what the definition is, because in that case, there's so much of it. And it's so specific, and it doesn't mean quite what you think it means. As a rule, you assume normally means generally. But in fact, there it means one who favours gangsterism as a way of ruling. Um, and again and again, the difficulty here is First of all, working out what the definition is, and then secondly, working out which part of the clue is the definition and what that actual, what those words mean as a definition. So here we're looking at thought-provoking prescription, and I knew smug must be in this from unduly complacent, but it took quite a long time to understand that a smart drug was a thought-provoking prescription. That's so very cleverly worded. Here in 19, clobber. Clobber with blow after spinning round. It doesn't occur to you at first that clobber in its sense of clothing could be the definition, but that's how it works. So again and again, the definition's been described. Nine across, I don't get this now. We'll come back to it later. A computer network block is in binary. If you can see the definition there and what it means not just which bit is the definition, but what the type of synonym required is. I'm very impressed. It's hard. Short drama piece broadcast live for now. Only I haven't read that right to get the actual definition out of it. I mean, we'll come back to that as well a bit later, but in fact, live for now is the definition. I mean, again and again, these definitions are fantastically disguised. Here at Four Across, a stroll in the park leads up garden path to gorge. And the definition is a stroll in the park, so you have to come up with a synonym for something easy. Piece of cake, uh, I eventually thought of kids stuff, and even leads up garden path. You're not expecting that to mean fools or kids, as it does here. Fantastic wording of the clue to completely confuse you. Deputy Desserts Master. Well, could be Deputy, could be Master. In fact, in this case, it's Master, and not Master as in the clue, but as a verb. Um, a lot coming with commercial storage unit, but you have to break up commercial storage unit and just use storage unit as the definition for Farad. War hero off to mean the Queen. Fantastic. I mean, they're unusually you're kind of splitting up War Hero and going, well, War is probably the definition. But in fact, it is War Hero. And um, off to me, the Queen, though, what beautiful wordplay that is. Leaves visibly embarrassed hosts with no other option. And I mean, just astonishing. Leaves visibly embarrassed hosts with no other option. And it turns out, that's one of the last ones I saw, but there the leaves are referring to a, um, a sheaf of paper, leaves of paper, and visibly embarrassed is, is a reasonably standard piece of crosswordness, thank goodness, although in that case it's in red. Um, ball girl chosen for final footy match, well that's not even, that's just a cryptic definition, 20 across. Ball girl chosen for final footy match. And I mean, well done if you can see what's going on there. Um, because it's nothing to do with sport. That's all I'll say at the moment. 
Now, 28 across article on the Smart UK Foreign Relations Manual. Well, it's an anagram, as foreign indicates, of A, A Smart UK. Or rather, it's A written after an anagram of A Smart UK. And Relations Manual is the definition of Karma Sutra, which is almost magical. Um, 21 down, appliances seen often in gents clubs, not very. And there, the definition is actually appliance seen often in gents. Um, and that's kind of cunningly why there's no apostrophe, because it's only the first five words that are the definition. So you actually need an appliance that you find in toilets. Now, um, I'm still not solving a lot of these. I mean, this puzzle took me a long time. I'm about halfway through at this point in time, if not in numbers of words solved. Thank God it becomes easier as you uh, begin to get more letters in the grid. But snack bar, that's one of the more ordinary definitions, but not an ordinary answer. A bit like mobocrat. It seemed a bit like a made-up word to me, but it was the answer. Now, maybe miss out with odd bits of insignia. So out with is the instruction they remove the odd bits, the odd, le odd numbered letters in the insignia, and you're left with Nina, which is defined as maybe miss, because it could be a woman. 27, this is fantastic. Dieter's pal, apparently, possibly cut, starchy, etc., etc. But it's not Dieter's pal, it's actually Dieter's pal. So we need a German name. <laughs> it's Friedrich, which is a fantastic uh, misdirection. So the snack bar now, somehow I come up with at first makes its sandwiches in batter. And batter can be buffeted. So at first makes its is the letters M-I. And that's sandwiches in to begin the clue. So it's in fact mini buffet. 24 down. I mean here, taking in too much limited overs cricket, not good. Beautiful surface. And the definition is taking in too much. And the remarkable answer is ODing. Not actually ODing, as it looks like, but ODing, overdosing. 23 across. Bucks, might one possibly say, and cuts loose. Bucks, the clue is suggesting, are the opposite of does. So they're undoes. That's in the sense of a buck being a male deer and a doe being a female. I think they apply to rabbits as well. Cuts loose, undoes. 17 down, end of story. That's the definition. Which that is, or which is that, and then told initially T, and bold at question mark at, that's that. And here's that ball girl chosen for final footy match. That's Cinderella, because she was a girl who went to a ball and was chosen in the end of the story to, because her feet, or she had a footy match, her feet matched the glass slipper. 16 across, coup d'etat, removing number two by fours. Well, they have to break up coup d'etat. The definition is coup. And you need data removing number... Oh, in fact, de, I think, is a link word suggesting that this coup is made up of etat, removing its number two, so E-A-T, because the second letter comes out. Force is the letter F, and so the coup is a feat. Music to send Nanny's boy to sleep. Well, that's Nanny the goat, not Nanny the uh, relative or carer. So you rock a billy with that music. And that live for now is just an anagram of drama piece without its last letter. Broadcast, thrown about. Gives you carpe diem. Live for now. What a brilliantly disguised definition. Again and again, 22. Peers in time. I can tell you that's the definition. How hard is that to spot? Peers in time bother to hold end of debate up. Looks like a House of Lords reference, and it's certainly not. Um, so I was really struggling, I think, with those two, 22 and 21 in the bottom left. And actually, they're symmetric pair, 6 and 12 in the top right were the ones I struggled with the most. I think at this point, I spot that I've got an extra couple of letters in five down which has, um, begins employee in schoolyard up for keeping secret with boy. But the definition is employee in school. 
have to break out the yard bit away from that. Um, fantastic. And there's the, the binary clue, where binary is a reference. Binary is a noun for a binary star. And one of those is Aldebaran, where you have a lan with d bar. Block is in it. Unbelievably difficult. Past state in this clue, mentioning current and past state. Thrace was a state in ancient Greece or in that area. Oh, just fantastic. So these leaves, visibly embarrassed, hosts with no other option. That turns out to be, as I said, a group of papers, so not a ream, but a choir. And once you put that in, uh, that visibly embarrassed hosts, so red goes hosts choir to make required with no other option. And this one where master as a verb was the definition, sub is the deputy, and desserts are due. What your, your due or your dues are your desserts. Fantastic clue. Every, apart from deputy, every, you know, both of those words in that clue are not the meaning that you expect when you read deputy desserts master. So I think I can eventually see required at 12 across. Now 22, peers in time. The people who are equal to you in terms of the time that they've lived, your peers in time, are your age group. So there, that's, and the bother is agro, holding E, the end of debate, and then the word up at the end, age group. Fantastically worded clue. And yet it reads just like a House of Lords reference. Peers in time, bother to hold end of debate up. And finally, 21 down, the appliances seen often in gents are dryers, with clubs being drivers without the very or the. What a puzzle, just definition after definition, brilliantly disguised, absolute genius. I mean, really, I commend this puzzle to you. Let's just call up some of the clues again. Do feel free to go through it again um, and look at the clues, stop the puzzle. It's worth it. It's worth deconstructing those clues to see how brilliantly clues can be written. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that, I guessed. Um, and it's really educational in terms of how a solver can be misled by a clue and how a clue can be constructed to say what it means without apparently meaning what it says, the classic crossword aphorism. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Crack and the Cryptic. I certainly love the puzzle. I hope I've conveyed that at least. Uh, please do subscribe. We, we very much welcome subscribers. and. Uh, Please comment on the puzzle. It'd be fascinating to hear what you thought of this one, especially if you've done it before. Um, and hope to see you again soon. Bye now.